Hi friends, welcome to another meal prep video. As you guys may know, if you have been around here for a while, meal prep looks different every single week in my house. It depends on what work is looking like for Ross and I, it depends on what foods that we find on sale. It depends when we last went to the grocery store and like what groceries we have left. It just depends. At the end of the day, meal prep is meant to make your future life easier. If I can set aside a good like hour or so once a week to just get some things a little more organized it's usually well worth it okay let's get right to it the one meal that is much more of a like traditional meal prep is ross's lunches for work he's been really enjoying when i do some kind of meat some rice and some beans this week we are going for a pork loin this one is from trader joe's usually all i do is throw it in the instant pot and then i shred it and then it's easy for ross to reheat and eat when he's at work I like to throw in some beef or chicken broth or veggie broth if I have that on hand because it just adds even more flavor. And then I actually end up reusing this broth with the meat juices to make the rice. Delicious. Gonna let this go for about 35 to 40 minutes and then let it do its natural pressure release and then we'll add the rice in. Next on our list is to make some iced coffee. Usually I make a big old gallon of cold brew in this guy right here, but we're out of our favorite cold brew grounds. So I'm gonna make just some regular iced coffee instead. And that has to get us through until our Amazon cold brew delivery comes in. I'm putting on my apron because I am known to make a mess with this. Hannah! Into the fridge it goes. Next it is time for some pickling. I have all of these peppers from my garden. I'm going to quick pickle these. And we're also gonna quick pickle some red onions too. Both of these things I just use as like garnishes on just various dishes that I eat. We're gonna use the same brine for both of these. So I'm gonna just do one big pour of all of it in here. We're gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio of water to vinegar, as well as like some salt and some sugar, peppercorns, all that kind of stuff. The good thing about quick pickling is since we're not trying to like preserve these like on a shelf, make them shelf stable, we don't have to have an exact science of water, vinegar, salt, all of that. I have just a few peppercorns left. We're going to toss those in there. While that heats up, let's cut up our red onion. For the peppers, I really don't feel like cutting off the tops and taking the seeds out of all of these. So we're gonna do them Papa John style and just have the whole things pickled that we can munch on. I have these diced red onion that I also wanna use up. So I'm gonna just toss some of these into this one. It should help flavor the peppers. We're gonna let these sit on the counter until they are cooled off and then they're gonna get popped in the fridge. And I probably won't really eat them for about like 24 to 48 hours. Uh, bad news, the raspberries are too moldy to salvage so I cannot freeze them. They just have to go in the trash, which I absolutely hate wasting food. I hate it so much. I'm very sad about that. All right, aside from Ross's lunches, I think the last couple things we need to do is make some chicken salad. We have some chicken already cooked up. We're gonna just get cut into small little bite-sized pieces. I'm thinking we're gonna do like a harvest apple salad. So we're gonna throw some apple slices in there too. And then I also wanted to make some ranch veggie and chip dip for the week with some Greek yogurt. Let's do the chicken salad first. Onion. 
we gotta pay our snack tax. For this ranch chip and veggie dip, kind of just making this up, but we're gonna use plain Greek yogurt. I might add in a little bit of mayo too, just to make it a little extra creamy. And then we're gonna use this ranch seasoning powder. You could also use like those Hidden Valley ranch packets. Gotta do a taste test actually use a little more ranch powder surprisingly ross's pork is done so what we're gonna do is take it out of the instant pot just throw it in our stand mixer and then are you ready for this magic just like that we have some shredded pork and we have these juices left over to make our rice with Always rinse your rice off. The rice cooks a lot quicker than the pork does. That will be done in about 15 minutes. In the meantime, we can start preparing Ross's bowls. 